Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Well, not when you're seeing this, but for me it is. We are starting the day at the mall. Well, actually, I cycled this morning. I got ready. I got a vlog up, so I'm feeling good about that. Yesterday, I got a spray tan by my girl, Lauren. Um, she was telling me that a lot of you guys go to her from me, so if you go to Lauren for your spray tan, I love you so much. Thank you for supporting her, because she's just the best. Um, she tried, like, a new formula on me. It's supposed to be, like, sweat-proof and stuff, so, so far, it's so good. I feel like it's nice and dark. Sorry, I'm chewing gum. Anyways, this top is from Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Oh wow, Abercrombie, Abercrombie, and then I'm wearing my um, Amazon little slides. But we're starting to eat them all because I want perfume and I need some new makeup. And today we're also doing family cooking, so we need to stop at the grocery store and grab a few ingredients for that. So Zane and I are out. Zane is wearing his Crocs, guys. Look at them. Look at them. <sighs> I you can't, can't, lift up my I can't get there. I'm not you can't flexible. Get there. <laughs> I'm super comfy. I'm gonna be playing some tennis later today, so I'm like, you know what? Well, he's not gonna play tennis in his Crocs, but. You to can. change. You're gonna play tennis and cross. No, you gotta, treat, Imagine. you gotta treat the feet nice, make them super comfy, you know? For the beating they're gonna take later. But Crocs are just the best. You love them. They're so comfortable. They're hideous, but they're so comfortable. They are so ugly. <laughs> but it's fine. Um, okay, it's hot in the car. Let's go. Styling, babe. Yo. <laughs> Can't even get over how comfortable they are. They are very comfy. It's ridiculous. They look so much better on you. Than me, I feel like. I feel like if you wear them, if you were to wear like them right, athletic stuff. It right. Look bad. Yeah. No, I wouldn't wear them with jeans. We don't, yeah, we don't dress up Crocs. Because <laughs> it's just like, oh, like, yeah. Yeah. First things first, we're going into Ulta. So I've got a list here of some things that I want. So there's some makeup products that I want to try. Um, one of you guys recommended a mascara, and I need some other stuff. I want to try the Fenty lip gloss. I have to go into Sephora for that, but um, I also want to get a perfume. So I went on TikTok and found like Perfume Talk, where like people are obsessed with perfume, and I like made a list of some people's favorites, and I just need some restocks for my makeup. Anyways, one of you guys recommended Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. You said it does not get on the bottom of your eyes. Essence Get Big Lashes? Lash Princess? Essence Bye Bye Panda Eyes? That's what I need. <laughs> Smudge proof. Oh my god, it's so cheap. Wait, what? Why have I never heard of this before? This is it. Get Big Lashes Volume Boost? Smudge proof. Okay. Essence get big lashes smudge proof waterproof. Okay, I'll try that one. They also have that bye bye panda eyes I'm gonna try this one make sure it's not opened. Okay. We're good. We're good. Here you go boyfriend Got, Got it, it. <laughs> go. Check I need my beauty blenders and I need elf. Okay. I use their concealer to contour deep cinnamon. I think it's called Deep cinnamon this one perfect. We're doing good everything on the list. Nice. Okay, now we need Wet n Wild. I need my foundation. Let me find it. Let me okay, go. you're gonna find it. Wet n Wild. Do they have Wet n Wild here? I thought they did. I thought they sold Wet n Wild. Okay, we're gonna try some perfumes. Me and um, Natalie went to the mall and tried, and they didn't have coffee beans, and we walked out of, where were we? Macy's with a headache. So, now they have coffee beans here. I've heard a lot about the Ariana Grande cloud. But if you see Ariana. So oh, I see you, Ariana. Why? Jokes? Does it smell good? It's just like the most generic colon, I think. Oh. Uh, I don't know, I've seen jokes on TikTok. Oh. Uh, there's like a whole community on TikTok. Cloud. I'll let you smell it first, you tell me. Mm. Really? People like rave over it. Oh, that's kind of nice though. No, it's good. I like it. it. Smells good. It doesn't smell that strong. Okay, okay somebody <laughs> else recommended Versace Bright Crystal, Valentino, Barricat Rouge, or Ariana Grande Cloud. Black Opium by YSL, Burberry, Her London Dream, and Versace Eros. I have a little list. YSL is Black Opium. Girls were freaking out over that one. They said it's the one that they get the most compliments from mm. men. <laughs> I like this one better than Ariana's. Thoughts, comments, concerns? It just smells like perfume to me. Like I don't smell any perfume. <gasps> yeah, see, I, I like that one a lot. No, is this the Air Day Perfume Extreme? Oh, yeah, we sprayed that one. You like this a lot? Oh, do you see there's a Valentino one also? Mm, no, Valentino, yes. It just says Valentino perfume. Interesting, there's like four different ones here. Okay. This one says Tester. Those are Testers too. Well, this one is labeled correctly. Wait, I think I like this one. Put it on paper. I like the packaging too. Did. Today? <laughs> You like it? Oh, funny sound. <laughs> I can't. 
No. It's good. We smell the coffee. It's good, not great. How about that? I like that one. Really? Uh huh. How about this, this black one? Oh my god, there's so many options. I always get overwhelmed. 20 hours later, we smelled so many different things. I'm gonna try this one. I'm getting a small one. <laughs> and then I got my beauty blenders, mascara, and my concealer. That's that. What a good boyfriend. <laughs> All right, we are leaving the mall now. Went to Ulta. I showed you guys what I got there. And then went to Sephora, and I got Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Uh, um, <clears throat> hello? It's a lip liner. And then on top of it, I saw a TikTok. On top of it, I want to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss. So I got it in the shade Sweet Mount. So I'm going to try that lip combo. Actually, I have the funniest story ever. Well, I thought it was really funny. The girl that I happened to didn't think it was very funny. <laughs> but I'm in Sephora, right? And always in Sephora. They're always coming up to me asking, like, can I find you anything? Do you need help? Da -da -da. And nobody was asking me, so I'm like, all right, I gotta go find somebody because I want their opinion on what shade of lip gloss I should get. So I just go to the first girl that I see dressed in all black, and I'm like, hi, can I get your opinion? And she was like, yeah. And so she walked over with me to the Fenty glosses, and I'm like, so I want a shade that I can like put over my lipstick that I'm wearing right now, like something like this color, like I want it to match and like look good. And she was like looking at me like I had three heads, and I'm like, usually Sephora workers are like, yeah, let me help you with this, and like try to sell you stuff. And she's just like looking at me all confused. And then all of a sudden, I think it was her boyfriend or somebody, her brother, someone. He was like, I think she thinks you work here because of your outfit. And she, I just started dying laughing. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She was dressed in all black, how the Sephora employees dress. And she just like was not laughing at all. I thought it was hysterical. Even, and then I went to go get a worker and I was like, hi, sorry, can I hear you? And she's like, yeah, of course. I'm like, I just pulled somebody that didn't work here. She's like, oh, awkward. And I'm like, I really didn't find it awkward. I thought it was actually hysterical, but the girl did not find it funny. <laughs> so that's my story of the day. I thought it was really funny. Hello. I'd like to formally apologize for that whole beginning of this vlog. I feel like it was a hot mess. It, I could be wrong, but I just feel like it was messy. So. I went to Lidl. I'm just gonna show you everything that I got. I already showed you the Ulta and Sephora stuff. Here are all those goods. I made Zane come with me for this because I wanted his input on the perfume. And it was actually so funny because we were going back and forth and he like really loved this one. And I'm like, honestly, I could barely smell anymore. And he's like, I'm telling you that one. He's like, if I went up to a girl in the club and she smelled like that, I'm like, <laughs> He didn't mean it in that way, but he's like, it's a, it's an attractive smell, you know? He's like, if, I'm thinking about if I met you for the first time, and if you if you smelled like this perfume, it would be nice. And we brought it up to the register, and the woman at the register was like, I just bought this for my sister. It's a very nice scent. She's like, it's very expensive, and it's very nice. This little thing was like $75. I know Ulta and Sephora are overpriced um, with the perfumes. I feel like they charge more. I can get it, like, online, but I want it because I'm going away all this month, and I just wanted a nice perfume to bring. So this is it. Valentino. It's called Voce Vita. And I just got the one ounce for now just to make sure that I like it. So give her a little test today. It does smell good. I want to see though if I get compliments. Tonight we're doing family cooking so we'll see if anybody says anything. I have some stuff from Amazon and I went to the mall the other day. I want to show you that stuff but um, I want to show you the groceries that we just got because I want to put them away. So we've got some potato rolls, some deli like lunch meat. For tonight I got some cinnamon rolls, chips and guac for the app. These are unbelievable. I finished the whole bag, so I needed to get more. I made a charcuterie board with these on there in like a little container. They're like honey cinnamon almonds. Oh my God, they're so delicious. Some hot sauce. I needed buffalo, but I think you can just add butter. I think it's actually on here to make buffalo sauce. You just add butter. Oh, actually it's giving a recipe for buffalo chicken dip so i guess this is fine anyways i have this one and the buffalo version in the pantry but it's like almost empty we need it for tonight's recipe tonight we are making well you probably saw it in the title and don't know but we're making buffalo cheesy garlic bread and i'm so excited about it so for that we needed chicken tenderloins and some butter that's what i got from lidl oh also they did not have wet and wild at ulta i definitely thought that they sold it there but i had to go to walgreens and get just a stock up of my foundation if you watch my videos you know i'm obsessed with the wet and wild photo focus it did not have my shade though, so we're gonna mix and hope for the best. I'm gonna put all this away, BRB. Well, um, oops, that was kind of a fail, I guess. <laughs> Literally have an unopened one. This is the one that I was talking about though, but that's okay, same-ish. Got a few things from the mall, H&M specifically, 
My cousin and I walked around the mall, Roosevelt Field Mall, if you're familiar with Long Island, you know, it's a massive mall for like five hours. And I don't know, I just feel like nowadays shopping online is just like the vibe because you, at least you just hit a button, like rather than like walking around trying things on for five hours and not getting anything, at least if you order something it doesn't work, all you did was like go online and do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like all the stores have the same stuff and we just like, I don't know, we were not like vibing with it. Oh, this I got from Nordstrom. Um, I just wanted like a good pair of shapewear. I have like crappy ones from Marshalls from so long ago. And um, these are longer too. So they'd be good like for chub rub for under dresses and just like, I don't have to deal with my thighs rubbing together too. And then it just makes me feel like smooth under the dress. From H&M, I got this flannel. It's very simple and cute, white and beige, perfect for fall time. I would just like throw it over like, even what I'm wearing today, that would be cute. I didn't try this on though. This is a medium. I wanted it oversized, but it looked big. So instead of getting a large, we went medium. Actually, she's still pretty big. No, that's cute though. Oh, it's a little slit on the side. That's cute. We like her? We like her. Okay, got that. And then next, I've just been obsessed with zip-up hoodies. They're so good for me to throw over athletic wear. It's just like my vibe and I like, like wearing them open too. Um, this is just like a really pretty like brown color for fall and it's so soft i don't know if you can tell but she is soft inside so very excited about this one i have white black and gray so i needed beige and lastly i got this skirt their fitting rooms were not open but i put it over my leggings and it seemed like it was gonna be cute but i couldn't really tell so i'm gonna have to try it on but it's a black midi skirt with just some slits in it and it needs to be steamed but could be cute and that is all that i got from the mall <laughs> i'm going into the city for a few days for an event with my agency and then the next week after that we're going to atlantic city for my mom's birthday so i just wanted like some new fun outfits but i really just couldn't find much at the mall so i ended up ordering some stuff on amazon so we have some of it right now some of it's coming tomorrow but i'll show you what i got i should have a while ago ordered stuff off of like some like online stores but i just don't i didn't have time i'm literally leaving tomorrow so i had to amazon prime it had to come quickly what is this oh it's the shirt oh okay <laughs> i got like a halter top that like ties in the front yeah yeah maybe with some jeans and heels could be cute okay i really was ready for full vibes but New York just wants to be like 80 degrees. So I was like panicking. I'm like, oh my God, all the stores have fall stuff too. Oh, I'm really excited about this. So I'm gonna try boob tape. It like literally is like tape that holds up your boobs instead of having to wear a bra. So I'm so excited to see if this works for me because sometimes bras just don't work with an outfit and I cannot go without a bra. This came with, oh, it came with nipple covers and the roll of tape, so. I'm gonna bring that with me and see if I can use it. Next up, what is this? Oh, more shapewear. This one is a thong actually. So you kind of just like wear it as underwear and it like sucks you in, you know, makes it nice and smooth under fitted clothes. So this one had like really good reviews. I'm excited to try that. Oh, cool. I wanted all different types, like short, thong, this one is a thong and then it goes up higher than that that one just wanted options and like i don't do laundry often enough so i wanted to have like a few types oh this one's got like the sticky up top so it won't roll that's cool this one's a thong too okay exciting i think the thing that i'm most excited for is in here so i'm excited to try all this shapewear i recently if you guys saw the vlog got some from uh marshall's and it gave me like an underwear line in the back because it was like too, it was squeezing my butt it was giving me like a two butt look it's usable but i have to be careful with like how it looks Ooh, i'm so excited i wore that one when we went to dinner for zane's birthday with that satin dress and some of the photos i took i couldn't use because it literally like looked like i had two butts it was not cute okay so since i found out that it was going to be hot when i'm going into the city i wanted to get leather shorts because i was gonna wear leather pants but then i'm like i'm gonna be hot i also just don't own leather shorts at all these have really good reviews oh they look so cute this is literally exactly what i wanted simple leather short oh my god cute i think i'm gonna wear them with like black like heeled booties <gasps> and then just like a simple top yes okay cute i got a dress just to have the option it's a one shoulder and it like cuts out 
like this wait it's like a fitted dress and then it just like has one arm at the top it actually feels nice too okay yay success well i didn't try anything on but lastly i got a purse oh my god it's huge whoa was not expecting it to be this big oh my god it's heavy what this is from aldo wait this is so big <laughs> So this is an Aldo purse and it's got black on black. It's like a black chain. I really want to invest in my first designer purse soon, but I'm still deciding. I really like the Prada Galleria bag, but I have to go like in person. So I'm thinking maybe when I'm in New York the next few days, I mean, I live in New York. You know what I mean? When I'm in the city, I'll go look. I mean, this bag was not cheap. It wasn't a designer bag, but it was like $55, I think. Oh, it's massive. But I feel like it's pretty. And then if I want to wear it on like a shoulder like this, is probably how I would wear it. Oh my god, I was not expecting it to be this big though. <laughs> oh, probably like this. Like you double it up. Okay. I mean, she's very pretty. I'm actually the most excited about these. I feel like they're such nice quality and they're so cute. It's just exactly what I wanted. I'm obsessed. Sweatpants are on. I just took some Instagram pictures outside and we need to clean up. We've got about 45 minutes until we start our little family night. So we're gonna do some tidying up and cleaning and then start to like get out all the snacks and prepping the food and such. So let's do it. have in the fridge charcuterie. charcuterie board okay guys don't judge me but i'm making a leftover charcuterie board nice like this is what we had left in the fridge from the last time i made a really good one <laughs> actually i bought more of those almonds i put those on here too wait no lie though this is gonna be fire though because it's all the boring stuff that you like what no the, this cheese last time is a hit the only one we're missing is pepper jack but these cheeses were so uh, amazing and the goat cheese yeah, but the, I thought these cheeses were amazing too. I know, and then not that much of we it. have pep, but we don't have what, like prosciutto and yeah. the local ones. And that's fine. It's still gonna be a really good board. You know, yeah. that's my that's my review. <laughs> I'm making a cheese platter, not a charcuterie board. Oh, okay. We have grapes too. I put grapes. Oh, that's really cool. Did you know this could be used as um yeah a hot one too? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I feel like I have to pop up a picture of my good one on the screen and I'm embarrassed. No, like you said, this is a cheese platter that you're making on a whim. This isn't is a... Yeah. yeah. This isn't your your actual charcuterie board. Wait, I just wanted you to try the cracker. How am I supposed to try it by itself? You're not going to know if it's stale now. No, this is how I will know it's stale. No one's going to eat them okay, by cover themselves. It oh, but, but fine. I'll eat. Okay, you eat this. Mmm. You guys. So... Last time I made a good fancy charcuterie board. I didn't vlog that whole weekend when we did like a we did like a family barbecue. I got these from Lidl. They're like a wannabe Trader Joe's cracker. And they're so good. Raisin and rosemary. Mm. I did it with garlic goat cheese and like prosciutto. It was so good. Just kidding, it's a prank. I actually really like Lidl's guac. Okay, and then we have some chips. I did not like these from Lidl though. Zero out of 10. Uh, two out of 10. What did I buy again? Mmm. Lidl's guac is so good. Anything else we can put on this board, babe? We don't have any other stuff? Mm. Why is it so orange? Wait. No, that looks good to me. Oh my god, sorry guys. Those clips were so orange. I don't know what just happened. Okay. We just planned this dinner yesterday. So this is my last minute attempt. So, this recipe is by... What is her name? It's not Moribian. It's Miriam, I think her name is, on TikTok. I'll link the recipe down below. It's a garlic cheesy bread. It's gonna be delicious. You need chicken tenderloins, garlic, mozzarella, Italian bread, butter and buffalo sauce and then a bunch of seasoning pretty simple so i'm pumped why is the lighting we need to replace this light bulb 
Yeah, what the heck? heck? They got know. some another one. They have like a, a five year guarantee or some crazy okay, thing. Okay, yeah. Or ten year. We'll get another one then. That's the second one that went out too. I know. Remember? I know. I mean, we have lived here for three years, but still. Yeah, but there's like a ten year guarantee on these. Right. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I was gonna crock pot the chicken tenderloins, but I want to follow the recipe, so I'm gonna saute them instead. Well, just cook them in a pan, whatever. I'm gonna start prepping the chicken, and people will start arriving. And we'll get it cooking. I'll show you what I can. You guys know these cooking family cooking nights get hectic. We did not do one in August either. Um, between Jerry's back and so many other things, we just didn't get around to it. We spent a lot of time together, but we never did a cooking night. So we're back to it. Let's go September. Cheesy garlic buffalo bread. Oh, wait. You know what I just remembered? I have these. These are probably good. Oh, wait. I have these. Oh, we're putting those out for sure. I have kettle chips and I have bagel chips. And we got to put out some of these almonds. Okay. Oh. Oh no, he's had a hole in the bag. Like your first time opening them? Yeah, I think they're stale. Or somebody injected poison. Yeah, probably the latter. I don't think she eats them. They're fine. I can't rave about these almonds enough. They are so good. I never even got to try them yet. You can't. Why not? This is peanut oil. No way. All the way at the end of it though. I think you would be fine. I'm gonna try just one. No. Not if it says it. If it said like may contain, then I would. It does say may contain, but it also says at the very end peanut oil. Yeah, not. Nah, I mean, which is so weird. Oil. Why would you have to put peanut oil on almonds? I mean, maybe that helps the flavor or whatever. Oh, I also got cinnamon rolls for later. I saw. We never usually end up eating dessert though. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of cinnamon rolls. What? Yeah. Said no one ever. It's a bottom tier dessert. Said no one ever. What dessert, what? what dessert is better than, or sorry, what dessert is worse than cinnamon rolls? There's not many. Tiramisu. Better than cinnamon rolls. No. <laughs> Cookies, better. Brownies, better. And it's not I didn't say of, they were the best. No, this is not a shot of you either. I'm just saying, like, personally, I'm not going to eat it. I think, I don't like tiramisu. Well, yeah, and, because you don't like coffee. And I would take a cinnamon roll over um, regular basic cake any day. I think I'd agree with that. Like basic cake, yeah. Yeah. Hola. Oh, yay. Are these even good? What do you think? Oh, far. I thought so. Could I put on tunes or you're yeah. still vlogging? No, go ahead. Bets. Money. This is not a charcuterie board, okay? Charcuterie. It's called What Was Left in the Fridge. Did you ever see the cat, catery? Or the doggery? Dog? I don't know. It's like, it's like some... a charcuterie board for a dog? Yeah, I don't That's know cute. the word for it, but... A dog dog rootery? Some shit like that. Alright, so I can go in now? Go ahead. Okay, I just got all the tenderloins off with a um, paper towel and a fork. Jerry made the seasoning blend. Again, I'll have it down below. And now she's pouring half a cup of olive oil. Oh, because hers is quarter. Okay, so we're doubling the recipe. Because we've got lots of peeps to feed. Okay, is that necessary? I guess so. <laughs> I know, it felt That's really a lot. Weird. Maybe we should have kept with the quota. Maybe. It's okay. That's a lot of seasoning, a lot too. Of seasoning. Oh. We like flavor up in this house. Wow. It's probably mm -hmm. delicious, though. Oh, it does smell good. I keep stepping on something here. Is it I think there might be a cat toy under there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I, see I it. felt it before and then I forgot. Wait, this is going to be delicioso. I hope so. We some hungry people. Oh, we have to um, shred the cheese. That's that thing. Yeah. Yeah. You might sometimes you have to pause it and then like, scoop it out. Sometimes you gotta just use my finger. Yeah, I there promise you go. my hands are clean. You're good, you're good. Alright, we got the chicken going. The fam brought the bread. I'm going to chop up garlic. We want lots and lots of garlic. I literally think I'm gonna use all of this garlic, so we're gonna chop that up. Oh, and we gotta get butter getting to like a room temperature, so let me take that out. Two sticks is more than enough, right? <laughs> One? Or two? Probably two. Because I have two Yeah, that's true. We have each half. Okay, two sticks of butter. Meanwhile, we're cooking and these freaks are foam rolling each other. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, are you want to get foam rolled too? She needs to be foam rolled. Then you better not let out a fart. <laughs> this is sibling bonding. <laughs> Alright. Oh, babe! What? Let me use your slop chop. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm gonna sit here and chop it all. I just started another thing for people who don't like to use flat tops. They like just use your um, meat tenderizer, cover it with plastic wrap and meat tenderizer. The garlic, garlic, yeah. Wouldn't it just mush, mush it though? Instead I, of chopping it? I don't know. Let's just throw it on 
Oh my god, my, my gloves are the best thing ever. Oh my god, I never showed the vlog. If you guys have little hands, I've never liked dishwashing gloves because they were always too big and like the fingers would fold. So I got these on Amazon, they're like the size small and they actually fit me and I've never enjoyed washing dishes so much because I don't have to touch the yucky stuff, it doesn't mess with my tan, it doesn't hurt my nails. Like they actually fit. Look at these. Amazing. I have a feeling you unraveled them. Did I put them so on? Excited. For you? Yeah, yeah oh. you did. So I mean, great. no, you didn't. Wow. Wow, that's not so great gloves. You were so excited about them. Dude, that's I love them. I love them. This chicken smells great. Oh, Miss Professional. Oh my god, I need to try this flat top. See, I personally would rather use a knife and just do garlic, but if I'm doing like 20 cloves, I still gotta do it on the cutting board. Alright, but I gotta still peel them. Okay, slap chop! Fire? Come on. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is? Because garlic is so sticky. Stinky? Sticky. Oh. It gets like sticky on your hands. Oh, I'm a fan. Okay, 10 out of 10. I love it. Chicken is finito. It smells amazing. Like, hey, buddy, walk it off. Yeah, literally. Walk, walk it off. Let's go. <laughs> I would be so upset. Okay, half a cup of buffalo sauce. So I'll do a whole cup. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to do the rest of this buffalo. Yeah, they smell pretty much the same. Okay, this is going to be freaking spicy. Spicy. You want as spicy with the mayo. Two teaspoons of vinegar. So four teaspoons of vinegar. Regular vinegar. The regular. All right. Four teaspoons of vinegar. One, two. This is very interesting. Why, why, why vinegar? Three. And four. Oh. Why? He's so sassy with you. But but he wants me. Like look yeah. at that. Okay, this is getting so spicy. Oh, let's I'm scared. Wait, you have, um, yeah. I never have ever keep anything in my oven because my mom scarred me from that. But I always check out of habit from growing up. Like I hated that my mom kept things in here. I'm always like, it's not a storage area. Did you know I saw on TikTok that this is supposed to be to keep your stuff warm? It's not a storage. Yeah. Us young and when, don't know I, that. when mm. I was a kid, our we had a gas stove, and that was actually where you would broil. It uh, had a pan that you would slide in, and it would actually broil uh, the stuff. That's cool. I mean, maybe that's how gas stoves still are. I don't know because uh -huh. I haven't had gas yeah. since then. But I was like, that's so cool. That is. Okay, now I'm gonna make the garlic butter. One. That's a lot of fucking butter. <laughs> it's fine. I had a tuna sandwich today. <laughs> Is that all you all day? Yeah. We got two sticks of butter. We put in our garlic. I don't know how many cloves this was, to be honest. It's a lot, though. But I'm not mad about it. A tablespoon? She's nuts! A tablespoon! How about like a sprinkle? One tablespoon of thyme? I'm not doubling this. This is enough. Hi, baby. What? What's up? Oh, you're so cute, Ben. Pinch of salt. We're gonna watch tennis while we eat, and I couldn't be more excited. How's it looking? Oh my god, tie tie! <laughs> right when I walk in. All right, we've got the chicken and the mozzarella. We shredded it in my kitchen aid. It's my favorite gadget ever. So satisfying. Now, just about right now, stop. We're gonna take out the bread and then put the stuff on top, and then bake it again, and then we're done. Ever since I got this shredder for my KitchenAid, I will never buy bag cheese again. I think that shredding your own is so much better. It doesn't have that like weird like powdery coating on it. It's like softer, it's just better. And now it's so easy with that attachment. It makes it, I don't have to sit there with like a box grater. It takes forever. Back in at 365 for another 10 minutes or you could broil them, but I'm just gonna throw them for another 10. Okay, 10 minutes and we're starting now. 
Oh wait, it said the top. Oh, red pepper flakes and oregano. Let me do oregano. Oh, shit, I left you guys on. I did the 10 minutes and it got all nice and milky. Now I'm broiling it so it gets a little crispy on top. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, now that I took 500 pictures, let's cut it. Cut her up. That is perfect. I could do big pieces though because everyone's gonna eat a big piece probably. Okay, I'm gonna take it into the living room and we're gonna try. Now you know who that is? He was the best tennis player in the 60s. Oh really? Yeah, Ron Labor. Oh, I wonder why he has such a great smile watching that game. He's like one of the best of all time. It's like, oh, like a game. Okay. Look at that. Oh, Bye. Are we done? <laughs> we, we can bring Gordon Ramsay and uh, Joe and uh, Graham. Ah, this the food. Red pepper flakes for those who want it because I do not. <laughs> okay, my job here is done. Time to eat. That looks good. Yum. What do you think? Do you want a piece? Well, you can't have one because you're a cat. Mmm, that's really good. Where's the water? Mm. Next to the sink. Okay. Mm. Mm. Personally, I put a little less hot sauce, but that's just me. Yum. Fire, though. Mm -hmm. Guys, we finished eating, which, by the way, it was too spicy for me, in my opinion. Also, I just put my retainer in and brushed my teeth, so if I have a lisp, that is why. But, um... I would do that recipe if I did it again. I would do it with like honey barbecue sauce, something along those lines, or just maybe like less bar uh, less hot sauce. It was good. I only got to have one piece though. It was very filling. Um, and then we sat and watched tennis, and I ended up falling asleep at the end on the couch. So now we're here, and I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. So I think tomorrow I will like try some stuff on, and I'll like pack and stuff. So I'll show you guys that. And then I'll head off to New York City for a few days. Tomorrow I want to try some of that new makeup that I got too. So I'll keep you guys posted. I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. So I'll see you tomorrow.